the emissary of Dracarun. Kale stood at the edge of the human kingdom, gazing at the misty peaks of Dracarun. Chosen as the first human emissary, he felt both honored and anxious about the task ahead. Dracarun was a land of legend, where humans and dragons coexisted in a fragile peace. Ancient customs and powerful beings ruled this majestic realm, full of towering peaks and vast caverns. Kale's journey began with a solemn farewell from his family and friends. They placed their hopes in him, trusting his wisdom and compassion to bridge the gap between humans and dragons. As Kale ventured deeper into Dracarun, he marveled at the grandeur around him. The mountains soared into the clouds, and he could hear the distant roars of dragons echoing through the valleys. His guide, a dragon named Sapphira, awaited him at the border. Sapphira was wise and noble, believing in unity between species. Her scales shimmered like sapphires under the sun's rays. Welcome, Kale, Sapphira greeted him with a gentle voice. Your journey here is a significant step towards a lasting peace between our worlds. Follow me, and I'll show you our lands. They traveled together, Kale on foot and Sapphira gliding gracefully above. She pointed out ancient dragon lairs and shared stories of their ancestors, deepening Kale's understanding of their culture. As days passed, Kale learned the dragon's language and customs. He marveled at their wisdom and strength, but also sensed underlying tensions. Not all dragons welcomed a human among them. Sapphira introduced Kale to the Dragon Council, the governing body of Dracarun. The council members were vast and imposing, each with centuries of knowledge and experience. Speak, human, rumbled Eldrana, the eldest dragon. Why have you come to Dracarun? Kale bowed respectfully and began to speak, his voice steady despite the intense gaze of the council. I am here to strengthen the bond between our peoples, Kale declared. To learn from you and to share our ways. Together, we can ensure a future of peace and cooperation. The dragons listened intently, some nodding in approval while others remained skeptical. Eldrana's eyes glowed with ancient wisdom as he considered Kale's words carefully. Your intentions are noble, Kale, Eldrana finally said. But know that peace is fragile and must be guarded diligently. We welcome you, but remain vigilant for any threat. Sapphira and Kale began working closely together, attending meetings and learning the intricacies of dragon politics. Their bond grew, built on mutual respect and shared goals. One evening, as they rested by a serene lake, Sapphira confided in Kale. There are whispers of unrest, she said. A rogue clan led by Ragnar seeks to disrupt our peace. We must be cautious. Ragnar was a powerful dragon with a thirst for power and revenge. His clan had been marginalized for their aggressive tendencies, and now they plotted to ignite a war. Kale and Sapphira decided to investigate further. They traveled to the outskirts of Dracarun, where the rogue clan was rumored to reside. The air grew colder, and the landscape harsher. In a hidden valley, they found signs of the rogue dragon's presence. Charred trees and deep claw marks on the rocks hinted at their volatile nature. Sapphira's eyes narrowed in determination. We must gather evidence, Kale said. If we can prove Ragnar's intentions to the council, we might prevent a war, Sapphira agreed, her wings twitching with urgency. They observed the rogue dragons from a distance, noting their secret meetings and aggressive training sessions. Ragnar's voice boomed, rallying his followers with promises of power and dominance. One night, Kale and Sapphira overheard a crucial conversation. Ragnar outlined his plan to attack a human settlement, aiming to incite retaliation and break the fragile peace. This is our chance, Kale whispered. We must return to the council with this information. Sapphira nodded, and they carefully made their way back through the treacherous terrain. Back at the council chamber, Kale presented their findings. The dragons listened in silence, their expressions grave. Eldrana's eyes blazed with anger at the betrayal. This cannot stand, Eldrana declared. 
We must act swiftly to prevent Ragnar's plot from unfolding. Kale, your bravery has brought this to light. Now, we must respond. A plan was devised to confront Ragnar and his clan. Sapphira would lead a delegation of loyal dragons, while Kale would serve as a mediator to ensure a peaceful resolution if possible. The confrontation took place in the same hidden valley. Ragnar and his followers were taken by surprise as Sapphira and her delegation descended from the skies, blocking their escape. Ragnar, your plot is exposed, Sapphira announced. Surrender now, or face the consequences. Ragnar snarled, his eyes filled with rage. We will not be silenced by cowards and traitors. Tensions ran high as the two factions faced off. Kale stepped forward, raising his hands. Ragnar, this path leads only to destruction. Think of your kin, and what this war would cost us all. Ragnar hesitated, his followers glancing uncertainly at each other. The truth in Kale's words struck a chord, sowing doubt among them. Sapphira watched, ready to act if needed. Your fight is with me, Sapphira challenged. If you truly seek power, face me in single combat. Prove your worth, or abandon this senseless violence, Ragnar roared, accepting the challenge. The duel was fierce, with both dragons showcasing their formidable strength and agility. Kale watched anxiously, knowing the outcome would determine the future of their peace. Sapphira fought with honor and determination, her movements precise and powerful. Ragnar, driven by rage, made reckless attacks, leaving him vulnerable. The clash echoed through the valley. In a decisive moment, Sapphira disarmed Ragnar, pinning him to the ground. Yield, she commanded, her voice unwavering. Ragnar, exhausted and defeated, finally relented. The rogue clan members, witnessing their leader's defeat, lowered their heads in submission. Kale approached, his heart pounding. We can still choose peace, he said softly. Ragnar was brought before the council, where his crimes were judged. Eldrana's gaze was stern but fair. You sought power through chaos. Now, you will face the consequences of your actions. The council decided on exile for Ragnar and his closest followers, ensuring they could no longer threaten the peace. Kale's bravery and Sapphira's wisdom were praised by all. With the immediate threat neutralized, Kale and Sapphira worked tirelessly to repair the trust between dragons and humans. Their efforts paved the way for a new era of cooperation. A grand ceremony was held to celebrate the renewed alliance. Dragons and humans gathered, their differences set aside in favor of a shared vision for the future. Eldrana, in a rare display of emotion, commended Kale and Sapphira. You have shown us that peace is possible through understanding and courage. Today, we honor your contributions. Kale was named an honorary member of the Dragon Council, the first human to ever hold such a position. His heart swelled with pride and gratitude for the trust placed in him. Sapphira, too, received recognition for her pivotal role. She was appointed as an ambassador to the human world, symbolizing the unity and mutual respect between their species. As the celebrations continued, Kale and Sapphira reflected on their journey. They had faced numerous challenges, but their unwavering dedication to peace had prevailed. We've come a long way, Kale said, gazing at the dragons and humans mingling together. And there's still much to be done, Sapphira replied, her eyes shining with determination. The new treaty was signed with great ceremony, outlining mutual cooperation and the steps to ensure lasting peace. It was a document of hope and commitment for future generations. Kale and Sapphira traveled together, visiting both human and dragon communities. They shared their story, inspiring others to believe in the possibility of harmony and unity. Through their efforts, misunderstandings were resolved, and friendships blossomed. The bond between humans and dragons grew stronger, founded on trust and mutual respect. Kale's diplomatic skills and Sapphira's wisdom were instrumental in forging new alliances. 
they became symbols of what could be achieved when two worlds came together. Over time, the memory of Ragnar's rebellion faded, replaced by tales of Kale and Sapphira's heroism. Their legacy was one of peace and cooperation, celebrated by all. Kale found joy in his work, knowing he was part of something greater. Sapphira, too, relished her role as a bridge between their worlds, fostering understanding and friendship. The Dragon Kingdom of Dracarum thrived, its majestic peaks and ancient lairs a testament to the enduring peace. Humans and dragons lived and worked side by side, building a brighter future. Kale and Sapphire often reminisced about their adventures, their bond unbreakable. They knew their journey was just one chapter in the ongoing story of their worlds. Eldrana, now older and even wiser, looked upon Kale and Sapphire with pride. You have set a path for others to follow. The future is bright because of your courage and vision. Kale's family visited Dracarin, marveling at its beauty and the harmony between species. They were proud of Kale, their hearts full of joy at his achievements. The children of both worlds listened eagerly to the tales of Kale and Sapphira, dreaming of their own adventures. The story of the dragon's emissary became a cherished legend. As years passed, the bond between humans and dragons only grew stronger. The peace they had fought for was now a reality, nurtured by the efforts of Kale and Sapphira. Kale's work as a diplomat continued, with new challenges and opportunities. Sapphira's role as an ambassador brought her to new lands, spreading the message of unity. Together, they faced every obstacle with determination, their hearts united in their mission. Their friendship was a beacon of hope for all who sought a better world. The legacy of Kale and Sapphira endured, a testament to what could be achieved through diplomacy and trust. Their story was a reminder that peace, though fragile, was always worth fighting for. In the end, the dragon's emissary and his dragon ally had not only secured peace, but had also forged a lasting bond between their worlds. Their tale was one of courage, unity, and hope.